We're moving on to some breaking news that we're tracking at the moment. In fact, the Collegium debate has simmered. In fact, the top court, the Supreme Court, has dismissed the plea seeking disclosure of the Collegium meet. And the plea sought disclosure under the RTI Act. Now, the Collegium meeting was held on December 12, 2018. Now, the top court has said that the Collegium meet uh, discussion not in public domain. So the Collegium meeting that was held on December 12, uh, 2018, where now the top court has said that the meet discussion is not in public domain. In fact, the SA has dismissed the plea seeking disclosure on the same. For more on this, I'm joined by my colleague Harish, who's joining uh, me to give us the latest on this. Harish, over to you to tell us uh, the latest developments in terms of the fact that the Collegium debate uh, just continues to uh, keep simmering. But what's the latest on that? In fact, this is a totally separate issue, nothing to do with uh, the ongoing rift between uh, Supreme Court Collegium and the Centre. Supreme Court was, in fact, pronouncing verdict in a totally separate issue. That is, uh, an RTI applicant, Anjiri Bharadwaj, through Prashant Bhushan, had sought details of a Supreme Court Collegium meeting, a particular Collegium meeting which had held on December 12, 2018. So, in that, uh, uh, in fact, the importance of it uh, is that uh, it it, uh, it sought uh, details regarding uh, the uh, non-elevation of Justice Pradeep Nandrajog and the then Chief Justice of Rajasthan High Court and Justice Rajendra Menon, the then Chief Justice of Delhi High Court. Uh, once it has received the note and uh, it questioned, it, 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 it sought details as to what happened to the elevation because the elevation had not happened. But Supreme Court has very categorically said that that particular collegium meeting was inconclusive and uh, the uh, details of an inconclusive college meeting need not be put in public domain and has refused the information to the applicant, Anj RT activist Anjali Bharadwaj, saying very clearly saying that uh, uh, this uh, only uh, only after a college meeting's resolution is signed can it be put in public domain and once it is signed it is always put on the website of the Supreme Court and once it's uh, so no details of an inconclusive uh, college meeting shall be put in the public domain and therefore relieved, uh, refused that information to the RTA activist Anjali Bharadwaj who had appeared uh, appeared to uh, advocate Prashant Bhushan uh, citing, uh, news, citing a media article and also quoting uh, retired Supreme Court Judge Madan B. Lokur who happened to be part of that collegium and was part of that meeting. But uh, in fact Supreme Court from the record found that the, the collegium meeting was inconclusive and no final decision was taken and, and only after final decision is taken and the, and the uh, resolution is signed by all the members of the collegium, shall it be put in the public domain. So, citing these reasons, the Supreme Court bench led by Justice M.R. Shah has today refused to divulge the information as far as that particular collegium meeting is concerned. Back to you. All right, Harish, I appreciate you joining us in the broadcast and getting us those latest inputs. But moving on to more news.